February 18th, and it is pure success time. Tonight, I hope you have all of your time dedicated for the next hour to be watching this show. This is going to be an amazing show. I'm excited. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there know that I'm a numbers kind of guy, and I love talking about them, and I'm, I'm going to beat them because we, gotta have a st we have a statistician in the house tonight. Right, we have somebody that knows some numbers. I'm gonna give you a couple of these, ready? So 2017, 2018, 176% increase, finishing at $14.2 million. That was Puerto Rico. You're talking about the young lady I'm gonna be talking about tonight, 63% up in her business, selling $107,000 last year. Not only that, but having a team increase from 2017 to 2018 of 133% doing nine million plus dollars. I'm telling you right now, this is a story of trial, tribulation, of us sitting back and talking about what we're gonna do with an island in Puerto Rico. I'm excited because tonight we're gonna be talking about Nanette Torres, talking about her life, her pure success. And I can tell you right now, you're gonna see one of the most unbelievable shows that you've ever seen. So what I want you to do is sit back Relax as we talk about her journey with Pure Romance, her husband Ricardo, and their Pure Romance journey as Pure Success 2019, February the 18th. Welcome to Puerto Rico! Hi, I'm Nanette Torres from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Um, this is my pure Roman story. I grew up in San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm the third of four children. I was shy in the beginning, very shy. Uh, one of my teacher in fourth grade saw the, my talent of mathematics and she put me a part of the group, gave me some books to learn mathematics. So I was a mathematical person from very young. That's my hobby, teach other kids mathematics. I don't do sports, I don't do only numbers. In home and in the one who say to my brothers and sisters how to save money because my grandma gave us one dollar every Sunday so I'm the one who saved the one dollar every Sunday and maybe I was the one to give the money to my dad if he need money to buy food, mm -hmm. but I charge interest. Oh. I was <laughs> seven years old, eight years old. So from the beginning, I love money. And I love to calculate everything with interest. Went to college uh, at 18 years, 17 years old, I started in college. Uh, take a um, mathematics class. I study, uh, my bachelor degree is in business administration. My major is in statistics. So I work with numbers since I very young. I start working in, in a marketing research area at 18 years old because the college gave me the opportunity to work in an in, in internship. I worked 16 years in marketing research. My last uh, years in a full-time job was as actuarial analyst. That is a career that is very few people work that, in, especially in Puerto Rico. So I have a lot of work in my full-time job. I work 12 hours a day, Monday to Friday, I start working at 8 a.m. in the morning and I was in the office 10 p.m. and I never finished working. Not workaholic, mm -hmm. but need to work to finish the job 
because I have a lot of due dates. I live in a third floor building and the first floor my neighbor saw me. I arrived very late and very uh, tired from my full-time job. Every day she saw me come to my home after 9 p.m. I'm tired. So she said, you need to take a vacation to Dominican Republic to my home because she, is, she was Dominican and her family live in Dominican Republic. Take a vacation, take maybe a week mm -hmm. because you are so tired. They opened the house and I went there. Mm -hmm. In their leave, her brother, sister-in-law, her nephew, and the brother of her sister-in-law. So Ricardo is the brother of her sister-in-law. Ah. I went there, I stayed one week there, and I met Ricardo in 2007. But we was friends, only friends. And after two years talking, and I went there to visit the family, we, we are friends. Um, and I went there, and we get in love in 2009. <laughs> and and we started dating. Mm -hmm. We went dancing. I love to dance. We love to dance. And we can dance all the night. So I, I write down what I want in a man. I want to worker, social, dancer, and he has everything of that I want in a man. And we start talking and then I start traveling more and in 2000, November 2009 we get engaged. In December 2009 one of my best friends invited me to a pure romance party. But she never told me about pure romance. So when I arrived, they wait for me. There in that home was 17 girls, all my friends. They put a chair in the middle of the room because that presentation is going to be my enjoy moment in that moment because my friends know uh, I have a lot of the stress in my in my full-time job so when the the consultant pull out everything I was in shock I say in the beginning I want to do that I want to do that I want to do that first of all I get engaged with Ricardo and we need money to pay for all the visa papers um, for immigration and the travel to the Dominican Republic and everything. And my full-time job gave me the money only for pay my bills. Uh, after that, I saw the table. I get in love of pure romance. And I took the card of that, of that consultant and I sign up in December 15. 2009. My best friend gave me the money to, to buy the kit. My best friend, I asked her, her I want to do pure romance, but when I sign up, she thought I'm going to buy the lower kit. I know, I, I buy the biggest kit. In that moment, cost 1,000 something dollars. And I remember I sign up and do all the information on the system. And when she asked me, hey, how much you owe me? And, she, and I was like, $1,000? And she almost died on that moment because <laughs> she saw this only cost $200. So she gave me the she she gave me the money. I buy the kit and I call all my friends. Hey, I owe the money to my best friend. 
I buy this kit, you need to open your house because I'm going to your house to do a pure romance party. And you can't say no. So when the kids arrived, my first party was the next day of January 7. The kids arrived for January 7. My next day, January 8, I went to one of my best friend's uh, house. Hey, with the box. I don't took out the products. I went to, to the box and put the box in the table. And I remember there are like eight girls there. And uh, hey, this is my Pure Romance kit. We are going to start this Pure Romance party. This is my first party. I don't know about the products. We are going to learn together. So after that, we called the open box party. <laughs> so I opened the box and they helped me to open the product. Hey, and I give it to them. Hey, try this, try this, try this. And what is that? I don't know. What, let's see the catalog. And yeah. I read the catalog. This said uh, this contains pheromones. Put it, put it, put it, put it. And I saw $800 in that first party. The second day, I have another friend. I went to the house. Hey, the, this is a, this is the key. You need to see the same thing. Uh, I do January 8, January 9, January 10, January 11, and in January 12, Pure Romans come to Puerto Rico to do a training. And I learned that I need to put the products in the table and do the presentation more professional. But my first four party was like open box party to all my friends and I sold in that in that weekend I saw $1,800 I remember and I called my friend hey this is the money you give it to me uh, and she said no you need inventory so use that money and pay me later so I buy my products and start doing parties like crazy. <laughs>
And the question always is, is can anybody do this business? Anybody, if you are a woman, 18 years old or older, or older, yeah. you can do it. I I teach my team that if you have a clear vision, a clear why, mm -hmm. you can do this business. The first of all you need to do is you have your why and yeah. put your why first and then I put a symbol of dollar in front of that. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to pay a bill, if you want to pay a mortgage, if you want to travel, when a, when a girl call me and say, I want to bring my, my kids to Disney, okay, how much costs you? Yeah. You need to know that. You need to put your why very clear. You can work with me mm -hmm. every day, every day and do whatever I do in my business. But if you don't have a why, yeah. You are not going to move. It's kind of like nobody has, I see that a lot with, with business owners. They want to get in, they want to make money, but they don't know what are they really playing for? What is their clear outcome that they're trying to do? And I love that you're trying to get that established with everybody that you're working on. I think that's completely different. When I went to Puerto Rico in December, I saw that there was a lot of people that were focused on exactly what they were trying to get accomplished with that business. Now, you know, when we, when we see this, do you think your you guys have done any, you, you think you've done anything different than other people have done? Um, I don't think so. But now I learned that we keep working like with the passion. No, yeah. we are a very passionate people. But it's the same. Is doing parties, sales, and offer the opportunity is the same to everyone. Yeah. How we do it? is because we have a very clear why. Yeah. And I and that's I teach all that in every team meeting. You need to to have your yeah. your your target, yeah. you know? And I think you and I think that that's a that is a really good business lesson. Now, with your mathematics uh, background, has that helped you with your business? Probably, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I after 9 years in the business, I learned how the business works. So, probably I, I saw I I saw like if the summer is as low, yeah. we we do some strategy because we learned that. So that's the that's the reason we keep motivated and we yeah. keep positive. I, I I always analyze my business yes. every month. Every month is different. Yeah. So you know you, you need to work harder in that other month that is a low sales. So probably in that I love the reports. Yeah. And if I saw something happen in the numbers, yeah. Then I teach the team to, hey, we need to do this. That's exactly <laughs> what I do. I'm, as soon as I start seeing the numbers, I'm like, okay, you got to jump on this. This is some of the things. But it, it is common sense, though, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's not like you take the numbers and you're dissecting them and like you find something completely different than somebody else would find. It's like but you're looking at them, you're paying attention to them, and you see it, and I think that that's huge. Now, I have one number question I want to know. What? Did you pay back your friend? <laughs> <laughs> she has all the products for free of her life, <laughs> and also she is, um, this moment, she is uh, uh, good news. I can say the news probably later, and I'm going to help her in that part of her life right now. Yeah. Yeah. You are going to love that story later. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But I help her a lot, and she, she is. A, she know I love her a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think you got a great support cast. All right, let's keep going because you have so much. I again, I, I'm so glad we were able to do this story because the things that you know we have been through, and I, I'll be talking about this a little bit later about the hey coming to you with the ultimatum. I know how you said positivity, positive, positive. And that was one thing you worked really hard on. Let's take a look as we go deeper into Nanette's life. Welcome to Nanoban. I saw the first mobile boutique in 2000. 11, I think, in a national training. My first mobile boutique I remember I saw was Christy Himes. I saw her mobile boutique and she explained me how the business increased in her, in her. And I started thinking, 
I never can do that, but I was afraid because I need to carry a lot of inventory, but I sell a lot because I have it. I use every space, <laughs> every space. When I start my parties with my mobile boutique, when a client saw the products buy like crazy, you need to put the products you want to sell quickly in the in the eyes you know it was crazy if my average body was 600 in Puerto Rico 700 right now is 1500 my average is from 1200 to 1500 so I increase the sales with the mobile boutique in the parties this area is best and beauty and this area is lubricants and enhancement and all for your room and you know your night the outside orders but because i open the door they come in and saw everything and buy like a like a like a store like i want this i want this i want this i want this it's crazy i love it i call this nana band live your experience uh, it increased a lot my business a lot I was I was the one who was afraid because I buy the mobile boutique seven years later after I start pure romance and the last area is are the toys some lingeries and everything and so first of all you need to start here then you go here and then we are going together in the back. I grew up there. This is a public assistance building. And when they start developing this area, it's supposed to be for rich people. So when I was a kid, I was in the balcony um, looking to the kids playing in the pool. So I always dreamed to live here. Um, to be in the pool with that kids. That's the reason I buy this apartment. <laughs> I always say to my mom, I wanna live there. Uh, and finally I did it. I always do my goals. Write it down and hit it. My name is Pura M. De Leon Exposito and they call me Nini. Now I'm retired and I'm working for my daughter. I like it, I like it, but it made me happy and, and active. We're having a, a good time here. And she's a good boss. <laughs> She made a family of, of from all her girls, and they cooperating about all it. They 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 happy, and she makes party and she makes reunion and she makes all of the weeks, all weeks, all months. She has something to different to do with the girls. We are a very beautiful team. I dream that team. We're respectful each other. We work together. We share. We create, this is a special meeting. We call the masters. Our masters, consultants, is like karate, you know, the master. A master consultant, you need to have the level of senior consultant and above. And, and as leader, we give them a dinner, a fancy dinner. So we invite all our senior consultant and above to that fancy dinner and celebrate, share more strategies, more hardest strategies to increase your business in that moment. My first uh, master fancy dinner arrived 24 girls. 
My second, three months later, 48. My third, 120. And the last one was 150, but 150 can come because are in US or in different areas. I'm very proud of her that she got her goals, she, her dreams, that she, through pure romance, she's gonna buy a new house. She's traveling, that's her, her dreams. Uh, that's all it is. I'm very happy for her. This is my clove. I put the stickers of Pure Romance because Pure Romance helped me to pay to visit every pink little diamond. Is the, the, the places I, I, I went, no? Pure Roma gave me the opportunity to come, my dreams come true, to travel. So I've been in Las Vegas a couple of times. I went to Cuba, I love Cuba. Dominican Republic, of course, all the islands, and Venezuela, Colombia, Costa Rica. That's pretty wrong, I'm paying everything. Spain, and the last, our last travel was Italy. It is amazing because I always travel thinking that I'm going to meet someone that needs pure rope. <laughs> so I travel with my, connect, my with my business cards and my paint power outfit. <laughs> I have some friends that, you know, have a good job and travel a lot and I always sit down like once I'm going to travel a lot. Then I find the opportunity to travel with pure romance. Uh, it is a dream come true. It is unbelievable that pure romance give you the opportunity to, to do whatever you want. Be, this is life, you know? Life is not working a full-time job all the day uh, for another person, you know? You can work for you. If you are hard, you're going to earn more money. And you're going to reach your goals. And you're going to do your dreams come true. I love the globe. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, Nanette, when I think of you, I think of um, positivity. And you and I kind of hit on this, and um, you know, uh, you signed in 2009, get your business kind of rocking in 2010. We come down, we do a big kind of big opening in Puerto Rico, and I, I think at some point you could have thrown in the towel, pure romance. You know, you think about there's so much drama mm -hmm. filled, mm -hmm. and you know, you came to me and, and I said, you know what? You're going to close. I'm going to close market. Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And you know, and you were like, "Well, well, give give me a chance," you know. And, and I rem I'll never forget that time. You had this thing in your eye, like you were always positive. You always were wanting to fight for, you know, the dreams that you had. And I love what your mom said: "You get what you go after." When you set goals and you write them down, that's one thing I can say. Mm -hmm. How how has that? Why do you breed that positivity into your team? How did you make that change from kind of weeding out? bad in, in putting so much good into your, into your uh, city and state? First of all, um, I think was, it was a hard time. You remember that? Oh yeah. Very hard time. But we need to learn about, we have different personalities. Mm -hmm. So we stopped the drama 
if we have some someone say something negativity in the in the in the Facebook page or in the meetings or whatever, we stop it and we try to put a lot of positive message. You know, mm -hmm. um, if someone say Purama is not worth working for me or something, okay, for you, okay, yeah. but don't talk to the other ones that want to work. So drama is off. Yeah. I don't like to see TV novels, never, never, yeah. never, yeah. never. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. hate crying, I hate whatever. <laughs> so we start like building that we, without drama. Yeah. And, and because we learn how to work the business during the year, like I told yeah. you in the summer is the low sales. Yeah forever for 25 years is the same so I explained that hey don't for, for don't forget summer is a low sales yeah so we need to keep motivated keep motivated keep motivated I keep going keep going and keep going and remember what things you buy with your performance business what things you do with your performance business yeah. and always think that yeah. and I don't want to work with anyone in my life I hate my boss yeah. If you see me on YouTube, yeah. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the question: Do you do you sit back and believe that you know you've had you had to be uberly positive? I mean, because you were fighting an uphill battle. I mean, mm -hmm. I think about your team name being Team Smith. Why why do you name your team Team Smith? Team Smith is a good story. Yeah, <laughs> I remember I had like seven girls in my team, and every team is searching for names and hey we need a name and in Puerto Rico we had a, a very famous sexologist that her name is Wanda Smith and yeah. she have a TV program and she was funny and she was very educated person and the program is very famous in Puerto Rico so I talked with my t my little team in that time it was seven. like seven girls <laughs> and hey, we need a name hot how we, we can call Tim Smith, why? And I hear them, and one of them said, remember Wanda Smith? Wanda Smith is a sociologist, she they educate and she educate people and she's funny and whatever. And also, Smith is the most common last name in the US. So our team is going to be the biggest team on the whole pure romance and all the people is going to have the Smith. Yeah. So all my team put the Smith as a last name. If you see Johanna's team is uh, Diamantes Smith. Yeah. And if you see Nancy Gaston team yeah. is Chocolate Fantasy Smith. Yeah. So we all have, it's like a sisterhood. We yeah. have like all our last name is a family. Yeah. Which is kind of kind of fun because <laughs> when you think about it, you know, you you brought that back to like what it should be. It's about all of us, right? It's about mm -hmm. each and every one of us, and I think I think that is it, it, it's awesome when I hear that. Now, you know, let's talk about your master dinner. Okay. Going twenty four, forty eight, a hundred and fifty, and then a hundred and fifty that couldn't even be there because they were out of the country mm -hmm. or out of the, out of Puerto Rico. What was, what's that like at the, the master dinner? I learned in one national training that we need to build senior consultants. Mm -hmm. If you have a lot of senior consultants, you're going to grow the team. Yeah. So we think, what we can do to senior consultants? They want to be with, with together. Yeah. So if you want to be in this fancy dinner yeah. and celebrate, you need to have the senior consultant level as a minimum. So we started our first meeting. It was uh, uh, 24 girls, and they were so happy. And I want to be there the next time. I want to enjoy because it was talking together. It was funny. It was enjoy. You know, it's like it's like a hangout. Yeah. And then I saw them. them they motivate yeah. a lot because they work harder because yeah. they want the other dinner also. Yeah. So in the other day, I arrived 48 girls, so we double. I was like, okay, we are continuing to double. It's, 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 it's working. Mm -hmm. So we are doing again. I talked with my, my leaders, and we're going to spread it to offer to everyone 
no matter level. If you are in my sixth level, but one of my leaders saw you, you are invited. Yeah. And they want to be there. Yeah. They are waiting the next one. So it's a, it's a networking event for yes. mastering your business. Yes. And you're celebrating them. Yes. And if, they love it. They, if, they, they, they need to dress like with the pink power outfit. Yeah. I like, and you got your pink power outfit. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, you, and it's so good because you do, you, you know, a lot of people will say, what's been the key to success? And I always say, one, you follow the roadmap. I mean, you, you follow the things that we put out in front of you, like, hey, look, we talked about building senior consultants, you build senior consultants. We talked about looking at your numbers, you look at your numbers. We talked about, you know, going out there and being positive, you stay positive. Mm -hmm. And that's how you've had this explosive growth, a million to four, four to doubling again. I mean, it, it, it's truly amazing to see when you go into, into Puerto Rico that everybody is what I consider eating sleeping, drinking their business. Yes. And they're committed to seeing others succeed right beside. And it's such an honor to, to go and to see your team like that. It, it just always, it kind of always amazes me. Um, all right, the van, <laughs> the van, dude. You know, you came through some devastation with the whole hurricane. What, 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 and you got, and you had the van right before the hurricane? Yeah. I got the van on July before the hurricane. So the van saved my life because I have a, an inver inverter there. Yeah. And I connected the inverter to have a refrigerator and a fan. <laughs> so it's not only in my business, in my personal life to charge my cell phone, to charge my everything. But also, when I was in the gas station line, people saw the van driving with a woman. It was like, what is that? What is that? That was the first time I was taking the gas to the van. So people are asking, what is that? I sell sex product. <laughs> <laughs> because was a lot of men in the lines, yeah. yeah, and they was asking me, oh, "What you 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 know, pure romance?" So that's the moment I learned we need to put our pin power outfit yeah. and go out to talk about pure romance during the the Uric after the hurricane. And you pushed the team to start talking. Yes, I mean, if you put your pin power, it's much easier to talk about the business because yeah. people asking you about pure romance. It's like it's like a hero yeah. with the cape. Yeah. You know, you put the cape and you're a hero, you, yeah. you are a superman and you are a pure romance consultant. It's amazing. Your team dresses to the nine at every event. Is that is that something by design that you is that the pink power outfit like the always making sure that they're buttoned up? If they put a t-shirt that said pure romance, if you are afraid to talk about pure romance, you are new. Yeah. You are afraid about talk talk about pure romance, put your t-shirt. Someone is going to ask you what is that? And you feel confident to talk about pure romance. That's what we call the pink power outfit. So put your t-shirt that said pure romance, you're going to sell pure romance. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like I love how you work with the, the new girls and the new people coming in. You're a student for life. I know you believe in staying a student, keeping, mm -hmm. keeping that mental peace. So let's take a look as we kind of keep going on Nanette Torres. I signed up on December 2009, December 15, 2009. On January 2010, Pure Romans do a uh, training in Puerto Rico. So these are your lovely corporate trainers that are with you. I remember I did like nine parties before that training. All of our directors and above, please stand up. Directors and above, go ahead and stand up. When I arrived at training, Chris said, where are my directors? Stand up. And I asked the girl 
near me, what is a director? You know his face. You don't get to see him down here that much, but man, he loves himself some Puerto Rico. So let's hear it for your CEO, Chris Chickenelli. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, listen, we're gonna have some fun today. Are you guys ready? Oh, director, it's because you offer the opportunity to other girls and you, you can recruit and you earn money from them because they sell, blah, 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 blah. She explained me that. And I said, and why he asked the director to stand up? Because um, that's a prestige level and he invited them to a dinner. I was so angry because I was not a director. So I start signing up girls very quickly. So I get the le director level the next month. I will tell you, you guys are the talk of pure romance. Everybody in the world wants to know what the hell is going on down here. I read the compensation plan finally. <laughs> <laughs> and understand the money, calculate how many girls I needed to earn money and to build a team and understand that if we offer the opportunity, we can help other girls to earn money also in that moment. So after night parties, I was so angry because I don't offer the opportunity to anyone. And I remember at that moment, that girl need money also because don't have money to buy produce in that night. Mm -hmm. So I start offer the opportunity very quickly. I earned the director level in one month and then senior director in October the same year. I know it's the entire leadership group that's making this happen, but you've got an amazing leader here in Puerto Rico that makes sure that your voices are heard. Can we hear it from Nanette Torres? Nanette! She's an amazing leader, and you know why? Because she has this huge vision that she, she, she has it in her head. Like, ever since I met her, she always knew what she wanted. And then that's what you get. You get that same um, energy that you, you really want to look forward to big things and you want to do big things as well as just doing it. Y celulares, celulares, en airplane mode. No vibrando porque se escuchan. I meet Nanette in a party uh, at my home uh, and she signed up the same day during my party. I started this business as a hobby I was a student at the time, so she's been um, teaching me or helping me in each step. Because I, I was not the type of consultant that came into the business to do this big like right away. So every time I wanted a little bit more, she will sit down with me and show me a little bit more. She would never push me to something that she knew that I could not handle because I was taking steps. You know what? And she always showed me like, you could be here if you wanted to, but if you want to do this, okay, I'll show you how to do this. After the Hurricane Maria, as you know, we lost all the communications, but uh, she was like crazy trying to uh, catch with everybody. It's the biggest storm ever. Maria was the biggest storm ever. Boy, the, the Caribbean has just been getting hammered. Here's storm number four in just weeks. Yeah, and the fact that we're dealing with another Category 5 in just a matter of weeks. We haven't seen two Category 5s in a row since 2007, and this one is on a beeline to perhaps devastate Puerto Rico. We are back here on the northern side of, uh, of San Juan here. I can only imagine what went down when this thing made landfall in the southeast corner of this island. Obviously, the eye getting closer and closer to us, that eye wall now scraping the northern regions here. After the hurricane, the most precious things was water. So the stores restricted the water. Only two gallons or three gallons, or maybe one gallon per person. Thank God board members sent me money to buy uh, water if I find it. One of my clients works, um, a clients and a team members 
works, no people who works in a company that have water only for foundations, organizations. We buy the water and bring the water to the first team meeting after the hurricane. That first team meeting uh, was very special. I only want to see if the girl are okay. That meeting was amazing because it's not a job or work meeting. It's just a regular meeting to see if everybody was okay. Everybody start hugging. Oh, how are you? How was everything? How was your home? Uh, and after that, it was a very bad situation. But after that, uh, that time, we can bring everybody like a team again and start working. So what kept me going was Nanette's positive energy. Like she would never focus on the negative. She knew it was bad. She knew she had a big plate to handle, but she would never allow herself to go to that place because she knew that for her to build up the team once again, even though we, have through, we, we went through this, she needed to stay positive. We start talking about positive, be positive after the hurricane, you know. Our conversation was, hey, we are okay. We are going to be fine. Our business are not going to close. We need to start rebuilding again. Put your pink power outfit Everything that saved your Romans, everywhere that saved your Romans. Go to the lines. We got lines, gas, to, to gas, to food, to water, to ice, long lines, hours. What you can do in the lines? Talk with people. No light, no electricity, no water. What else? Sex time, so <laughs> we, we just, uh, start talking to everybody about pure romance. We put the pink power, <laughs> like t-shirt, caps, backpacks, and we just go outside to the store, to middle of the lines to start to speak, speaking to everybody about pure romance. With catalog, uh, samples, uh, with the body do for the mosquitoes. <laughs> it, it was a very, uh, a very good situation for us. We can do uh, lights, we do uh, flashlight parties, generator parties, uh, start doing parties to enjoy the moment, the hard moment with anything to entertain us. And that's blow our business because that people feel happy in the hardest moment of our life. You know, they enjoy the party, start laughing again, mm -hmm. and they can have sex. <laughs> Where are people being able to find different ways to go out there and, and to find out how they keep things excited, how they keep things, you know, emotional, how they keep things, you know, going and keeping it fresh? You guys do. And our job is to, see, is to make sure that we are constantly going out there and serving our clients. Now, how many of you guys want to move up to leadership? Okay, look at this. Look at the round. Look, at, look around the room. This type, this type of training help a consultant to do the click they need to improve their business. So it's very important, very important to arrive to this type of, of training. You don't need anybody but yourself to be successful. When you have a one-on-one -on -one with Chris, a businessman like him, it's amazing. But me and you, we're the only two people in the room. We're the only two people in the room, okay? And you sat back and you said, hey, Chris, this is what, at the end of the year, I know I'll be successful if I do this. We sign up as a consultant. We don't know we have access to the presidents of the company to talk with us about business. That's huge for us that you, you can have a, a contact with him, a connection with, a personal connection with him and talk about business. 
that conversation with a man like that in a big company like Pure Romance is help us a lot. Pure Romance, unlike any other party plan, we are fun. Uh, now our mind is like a business woman's, you know? We are our CEO of our company. Puerto Rican, we are party people. We are always happy. So it's feel amazing that we give corporate the contagious of the happiness. It's supposed to be in everywhere. We love Pure Romance. We love what Pure Romance did for us. So we're grateful. Change our life, change all woman life, all consultant life is, is amazing, rare, really. Thank you so much for that. Cry. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> you know, you know how proud we are of you. I mean, you and your team, you guys have just done a fantastic job. Thank you. You've put a lot of time into this, haven't you? A lot of thought. Nine years. I know. <laughs> but it's, you know, everybody thinks it happens overnight, right? So, and it's been nine years you grinding out some really not so good years. No, that's the reason I told the girls who start already and they start talking like sad and that's the, hey, I've been nine years with up and downs and I'm here. Yeah. So do you want my override? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think everybody would like Everyone. your override. Oh, but you know, but you're right. Like some people think it's just, ro you know, building something is all, you know, like till tomorrow? Yeah, it's easy. You need to work. Yeah. And you know, it, it's funny, um, you know, the, the, the way in which you look at the business, it's, it's a business. It's a business. You are the CEO of Pure Roman Buy. Yeah. So I explain my team like, do you see Walmart? Walmart everywhere? Yeah. So that's Pure Roman's Buy. Yeah. You are the CEO, you put your hours, you, you know how to open your business, you know how to clo when to close your business, you know how many hours, you are the boss. Yeah. Nobody's telling you. N no, and that's the thing, you're in charge of your paycheck. Bigger or smaller, you put the time in. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's amazing because um, the culture, you've set that culture in Team Smith. You've set this culture that says, hey, listen, if you want it, you can go get it. Like, I think about, like, a Nancy Gaston, right? I think about the, like, coming out, and she was, like, you know, sitting in a Puerto Rico going, I don't feel like, you know, I'm a leader. I mean, I need more training. Oh, you, you, you're there. Mm -hmm. And we sit back, and I'm like, she's an amazing leader. Mm -hmm. Move to, to the senior national director and, and build a business. But you instill that belief in her. Mm-hmm. They, I think they feel afraid about the word leader, and I stop that. That's the reason I call masters. Yeah. You, if you feel that word leader afraid you, forget about it. We are going to train. Yeah. Forget about it. Yeah. Come everyone to our meetings. Yeah. It's open to everyone, whatever. You don't care. No, we don't care. We don't care who, you never know who is sit down near you to mm -hmm. help you. To, do, to say something to you that helped you. It, that was my case when I started. I was the number nine line for my peer mom right now, Leah Kimbo. I was her nine or eight line down there. I, we don't have yeah. who, who I need to learn because Leah is in the US. So yeah. I don't care, the girl who was sit down near me explain the compensation plan. You don't care where she's at. I don't care. Did you ever think as that little girl looking into that pool, you know, from that building, do you ever think your life would be the way it is today? I don't know. <laughs> I 
it is amazing life I have right now. It's a very it's amazing life. It's very amazing. It's unbelievable. If someone saw this, they think it's going to happen quickly. But right now, after nine years, I feel like ah, I can breathe. I can do whatever I want. Yeah. Pure romance is amazing, and it's easy. You don't need to have a doctor degree to do pure romance. No. You don't need, I don't read. I told you I, I don't like to read. Yeah. But I read the Inspire. <laughs> That's my favorite book. Yeah, you're oh Inspire. I love it. Inspire and Numbers. You know what, though? It's like, <laughs> it is Inspire and Numbers and your pink power outfit. That's you know, it. I know, I love how your team, you know, you do have pure romance on all the time. It, a lot of people don't understand why it's so important to have your your gear because it is a question, you know, conversation starter. Mm -hmm. Do you find that that helps your team feel a lot more comfortable? Yes, we teach them how, uh, to talk to everyone, whatever. If we find a girl in a store and we like the bag or maybe her shoes, hey, talk about her shoes. Yeah, woman like that. So say something about her shoes. I love your shoes. Oh, thank you. I need it for my, my business because I do party. I, I feel comfortable with those shoes, right? Oh, yeah, I buy it in this store. Oh, I, it's for my business, it's amazing. For my business, my business. He is, she is going to ask you, what is your business? Yeah. And you say, I wore pure romance. I do pure romance. Do you know pure romance? And it's very easy to open the conversation. Yeah. So say something to a girl very easy and open in the conversation to talk about pure romance that's the way we we talk in Puerto Rico and in everywhere I hope so <laughs> what does what does Ricardo think of this whole this whole rise I mean because I mean like you think about how you your team loves you I mean uh, I'm sitting in Puerto Rico and watching um, the you know you're doing your recognition and each of your leaders are going up and they're doing their recognition piece, um, and yet the the culture is so um, you know, loving and caring and wanting to see each other succeed. You know, what is how how is that how is that happen? How does what does Ricardo think about this whole thing? Does he think it's crazy? I mean, Ricardo helped me a lot in in our team meetings. He is in charge of put everything in the room. Yeah. <laughs> um, in the beginning, Ricardo said. Are you going to sell that? Don't put me nothing in myself. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. After he came to uh, to uh, one na to, to one world conference and saw everything and saw how the girls call me and saw how we help girls because we do meetings also to only talk. Yeah. You, I have problem with my finance. Okay, yeah. sit down. We calculate. I have problem with whatever. So he loved the way we talk. He is my bodyguard. Yeah, <laughs> he is in charge of my bag. Yeah, and he likes the girls. Yeah. The girls love him yeah. and care him also because on the on the national on the work conference he was drinking <laughs> and I was in the room tired yeah. and the girl hey papa daddy come <laughs> daddy come yeah. we care we we have you mommy's not here yeah. come with us <laughs> remember there is a lot of women here that want you <laughs> And my team care of him also. <laughs> yeah, they, they're like, we're making sure. No, you know what? That's that's a that's what it is. It's a it's a family, and that's mm -hmm. what I think is is so important. It's like, you know, that that's what we do. But what what's next with Team Smith? What's next with the Nets rise? Where where do you see this thing going? What what are your next goals? <sighs> my next goal, I want, for this year, we want as a team. Yeah because they said we are going to hit the $16 million team. I say 12. Yeah. They want yeah. 16, they. Yeah. So I am a number person. I know we can hit the 12 million. Yeah. Um, but they still say we are going to do the 16, so. Close. I like that. Always go for work. something bigger, right? You know, <laughs> yeah. go for something bigger. And we want uh, Teddy girls in position of prestige. We don't care what line. We want Teddy girls there. Thirty girl. That's a big thing because I know that that's something that Cheryl's came into my office and said, you know, Nanette's got a whole different perspective 
on not senior consultant, not director, not associate director, but prestige positions. Yes. Where did that come out, having 30? What was your reasoning behind that? You know what? I was the only one Puerto Rican in pre President's Club for many years. So for myself, I want to have more Puerto Ricans there. Yeah. I don't care which team. Yeah. I want more Puerto Ricans there. But you remember, I always say, Chris, <laughs> Nanette, not in Spanish. <sighs> Chris, Nanette, no, Nana, <laughs> not for Puerto Rico. So for me, it's like, we need more Puerto Ricans there. And you, and now we've got everything. We're translating everything. I mean, we're we got shit. Everything's coming in Spanish now. You know what though? It's it, that's the thing. You put the time in your team, and you get now. Look at this. You you get what you want because at the end, you're like you've said it. Like your mom said, you wrote those goals down. You put those goals in front of you, and you slayed them. And that, my friend, is an amazing, amazing thing that you've done. I'm excited that I've been able to, to see this journey for the last nine years and, and witness what you've done because I think it's absolutely amazing. There, you, your team, everybody wants to know and I think people saw it tonight, it's you, it's your personality, it's the culture that you build, it's the lovingness, the caringness, the passion, the positivity which is huge and I think that is the coolest thing. And as we kind of wrap tonight, I know that there's a lot of people that um, you might want to say thank you, or if there's any last minute things you want to say, you got the camera, it's all you. If you want to say it in Spanish, you say whatever you want, because it's your time. It's my time. No, I'm going to say in English, you need to understand this. <laughs> um, I need to thank uh, the team that believe in, in me uh, in the hardest moment, uh, because it was twice. You, we almost closed twice, mm -hmm. so they believe. Uh, my clients also, they believe in us and help women because if you buy from a pure Roman school sold, then you help a, a, a homeowner business. Uh, my husband, <laughs> that is my support. He, he always, I call him every time I go out from a party. And in my voice, he said, it was good party or it's not good party. And we, we our game is he need to, to uh, say the number yeah. of the sale. I mean, he, if he hear my voice like low, he said, remember, it's a hundred dollar we don't have. Yeah in the past, in the morning, you have a more hundred dollars. And also when I give party to my team, because I book parties, five parties a day, I don't care. Yeah. And I give it to my team. And I s try to, which one is mine, which one is mine, which one is mine, mine is 200. Yeah. And the other team, like, like Nancy Gaston, I give yeah. her the thousand one. <laughs> I, he said like, remember, she is in your team. You help her, and these 200, we don't have it in the past. Okay, so he is the one who support that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But thanks, thanks to the girl who was the consultant that I signed up. I don't see the, that girl. No, <laughs> never. Yeah. yeah. She quit very quickly, yeah. but she offered the opportunity to me. And you took it. Yeah, and I took it, and I took the train. And your life is forever changed. Yeah, and I'm going to do a pure romance in elder buildings <laughs> <laughs> to all golden age people. Well, we, we'll all be living in the same building together. We'll be, we'll be talking about the glory days. Yeah. I can tell you, I'm super proud of you, and I'm super proud of what you've done. Thank um, you. And, and to everybody that's watching in Puerto Rico tonight, around the, the world, this is pure success, and you're looking at a pure success rock star, Miss Nina Torres. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>